Uh, I guess I'm a big believer that incentives, um, people respond to incentives, and incentives can be one of the easiest ways of making transformative change. So from my perspective, our current reimbursement system has a tremendous amount of flaws, you know, basically paying for procedures as opposed to paying for outcomes, um, paying doctors, hospitals, other organizations separately as opposed to bundling it all into sort of a set of care. So if I had a blank check, um, I would probably first use it to completely rethink incentives and how incentives work within our system, um, come up with alternative incentive models for you know, reimbursement, um, and then probably use the remaining bit of the money <laughs> to go out and um, advocate and try and make those, make those changes, make those changes to uh, sort of our incentive structure and the reimbursement system as a whole. So some of the classic examples are, you know, we have no incentive to um, early on have preventative treatment for by insurers because people are going to get handed off to Medicare down the road. So you dis you sort of disaggregated when people you have to incur that expense as to when they get when they get the benefits. Um, so that's a you know relatively simple example. Um, the other kind of classic example is colonoscopies. You know, the paper per service you would send people to do as many colonoscopies as possible. At the same time, there's a lot of data that shows the longer you take with your colonoscopy, mm -hmm. the more polyps you are able to address, able to remove, find and remove, and you know, your incidence of cancer, uh, colon cancer, should go way down. So getting those incentives right, to me, is a great way to use a blank check.